Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and another one in the Industrial Chemistry uh, video series. Today we're going to look at the exothermic nature of sulfuric acid ionization. In the last video we started to have a little bit of a look at some of the reactions involving sulfuric acid and we recognized there that, um, that when sulfuric acid go, is diluted from its liquid or concentrated form into a more dilute form, um, that process of ionization releases, releases a huge amount of energy and that has some fairly significant implications. So we should be aware of the fact that the ionization of sulfuric acid is a highly exothermic reaction. The delta H value, if you remember from the previous video, was minus 90 kilojoules per mole. So a very large amount of energy is released when sulfuric acid ionizes. And that energy, of course, comes out in the form of heat. So a lot of thermal energy consequence of this ionization process. Now, concentrated sulfuric acid, very concentrated sulfuric acid, is very, very high in molecules, very, very small number of ions. And this is going to be fairly important, particularly um, in the next video when we have a little bit of a look at safety and transport associated with sulfuric acid. But in this one, we're just going to have a little bit of a look at some of the consequences associated with the ionization. So the ionization of sulfuric acid actually occurs in two steps. And that's because sulfuric acid is diprotic. So the first step is the breaking of the covalent bonds um, in the acid in order to release the um, H plus ion, uh, which of course combines with the water. So if we're looking at a, a sort of bronsted layer situation, we have an acid base. Uh, then we have a conjugate acid, uh, sorry, a conjugate base for the hydrogen sulfate, and conjugate acid is the um, hydronium ion that's accepted a proton, or well, the water's accepted a proton and actually become um, the conjugate acid, hydronium. And this is a very high energy reaction, and, uh, and of course, as we said, it's exothermic, and the delta H value, minus 90 kilojoules, mole. Now, there's two main reasons for this huge energy release and the first of those is the ionization of the sulfuric acid molecule so the breakdown to form the H plus ions and the second of these is the hydration of the protons so that is the um, linking with water molecules to become the H3O plus hydronium ions so it's those two processes that are contributing to the um, large amount of energy that's released as a consequence of this ionization process. But as I said before, the problem with this particular uh, molecule is it is diprotic. So there is a further ionization step that um, adds additional energy to um, this whole process. And in the second ionization, a hydrogen ion is going to leave the negatively charged bisulfite ion. And despite the fact that because of the um, first ionization step, so the HSO4, you might remember, is actually a conjugate base produced from the breakdown of sulfuric acid. And what we've said before is if we have a strong acid, then the conjugate will be weak. So this will be a weak conjugate base. Nevertheless, it can act itself as an acid by donating a proton. So that actually makes this species amphiprotic. And in this situation, what is going to happen if we uh, add it again to water, a liquid form, then what we're going to form is once again another hydronium ion, which is going to further um, increase the concentration and decrease the pH. Um, in aqueous solution and the sulfate to minus ion. Once again, this is acting as the acid and water is acting as the base, producing the conjugate um, acid, the hydronium ion, and in this case, the um, conjugate base is the uh, sulfate ions. The most significant contributor to the high energy um, of this particular reaction is the production of these hydronium ions. And in the case of a diprotic acid, that means there are two hydronium ions produced per molecule of sulfuric acid. And this is the reason behind that huge 
exothermic um, nature of sulfuric acid ionization. Thanks for watching.